What is up, Nomies? I've been super into dollar store DIYs, and I wanted to share this one with you guys. This is a cone that I got from the dollar store, and I'm going to turn it into a little Nomi. The first thing I did was take my styrofoam and glue it to a piece of felt for the bottom. I just did this roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're not going to see these because these are going to be covered with fabric. So you can just glue it and glue this whole thing and not even cut it down if you want. But I did end up cutting it down. So this is what it looked like. Then I took some of this fabric that I grabbed up from the Dollar Tree and I gave it a little hot glue hem where I had cut it down. This is going to make the Nomi shirt. And this is how it turns out. Then I thought it would be cute if he had some straw poking out of his hat. So I took this hula skirt. This is from the Dollar Tree in their summer collection. And I just hot glued around the inner part of his hat. Because his hat is going to be covering it. And that's what I wanted. I wanted the hat to cover the starting part of the hula skirt. If that makes any sense. And this is how that turned out. Now I'm going to take some black fabric that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap this around my Nomi's top part of his cone and this is going to make his hat. I left some extra fabric and I just wrapped it over and over around and around kind of just like twisting it in certain spots and putting hot glue here and there and I was really happy with how it turned out. Now I use the same method to make the nose and both hands and all I do is take some cotton and stick it in the middle of a flesh colored fabric of your choice. And then you're going to try to shape it into a ball. Then you take your ball and you wrap it with reef wire to hold it in place. And then you can just trim off any extra fabric. These are how they turned out. And there's three, two for the hands and one for the nose. With these two rectangles, I'm going to make the arms. And for this, I use some reef wire and I just kind of like bunch it up, go different directions and put it in the middle of the arm. That way the arm can be bendable, you can move it and bend it in whatever way you'd like. And as you can see, I got that hot glue hem going down. That's my favorite kind of hem because it's so easy. So if you do that, it just really makes it look more finished and there's less strings everywhere. If you don't hot glue hem it, you might have strings everywhere. And here I realized that my rectangle was too long. So instead of cutting it, I just folded it over and glued it. Then I just went ahead and glued on this stuffing for the inside of the arm. Now, then I'm going to take one of my flesh colored balls. That sounds a little funny. <laughs> and I'm going to glue it on the end for my Nomi's hand. Then you're just going to go ahead and roll this like you would roll a... <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Ding, ding. All right, so now I'm going to go totally mad and I'm going to go ahead and poke some holes in my Naomi. This hole that I'm making is going to be for the note. And this is how he looks once he has a nose. Now we're going to stab him a couple times in each side for his arms. I know, right, psycho? <laughs> Let me know what you think of my evil laugh. I've been working on it just in time for Halloween. And before I stick the arm in the hole, I throw some hot glue in there just to give it a little extra hold. All right, now that my Nomi has some hands, what else is missing? A beard. 
So I just take that yarn that I just showed you a second ago. I actually got that one from Walmart. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it from the Dollar Tree. I didn't see any. Um, it was like $2.67 or something like that from Walmart. But then I just loop it around and around making like a big circle out of the yarn until it's the thickness that I want for his beard. Alright, now I think it's a good thickness so I go ahead and cut that and then put that through the middle and tie a knot in it and that holds it together and then you cut the other circle. But I don't do that until after I put it on my Naomi. Now I'm going to take some hot glue and throw that beard on there. Now he needs a good haircut or beard cut I should say. Now I'm going to go ahead and separate all the yarn and I'll come back and show you how it looks. In the meantime, before I show you all the fluffing of the yarn, and by that I just mean like pulling the yarn apart, I'm going to show you this little popsicle wheelbarrow. So here I'm just cutting 10 popsicle sticks, just cutting the ends off of them. They don't have to be perfect, we can fix them later. I actually could have glued all this together and then cut them, and then I cut two in half. And those are the four little pieces that you see at the bottom. So I just lined up the five going one direction and then I placed the smaller two going in the opposite direction. This is gonna be one of my wheelbarrow sides. And if you hear that noise in the background, that's just my son giggling because his mom is a dork. But let's get back to Nomi. Side number one is all glued and I just cut the side that I didn't line up. And I really like the way that it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. After the sides are complete, I'm going to go on to make the middle of the wheelbarrow. And I do this by gluing three popsicle sticks on top of each other in a triangle shape. And the only tip here is just try to make the space even in between both sides of the triangle, if that makes sense. You see how the spaces are even? It almost looks like a chicken foot. And then I took two popsicle sticks and I laid them on the side. And of course, hot glued them as well. It looks the same as before, but with sides. And then you just place the sixth one across all three at the bottom. And this is what it ends up looking like. Then I had this little wheel, well, it's actually a piece of wood that I had cut from an old Christmas tree that I had left over from another craft that I had done. So basically what I do is I just glue a popsicle stick. Now if you don't have a wood cutting like this or um, a wood circle, you could even use a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and it would just be a little bit fatter of a wheel, but it would definitely work especially if you cut the stem off and just glued it to each side. Once that was glued into place, I just took my frame and I stuck the two popsicles from around each side of the wood circle and I stuck it through the middle board on the frame. And then I just glue the wheel here in place, put a little hot glue all over each place that I can in hard to reach areas, I just grabbed an extra popsicle stick and I just smeared the hot glue hoping that it would give it at least some hold and so far so good, it's holding up pretty well. Last but not least, those walls that we created earlier are gonna go on. Now I am taking one more popsicle stick and I'm kind of gluing it under, giving it a little more support in this area. And this is what it looked like. Let me know what you guys think so far. And if you have any other things that you could use for a wheel, I would love to hear any ideas that you guys might have. Don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment. Now I'm taking two more long popsicle sticks and I'm just gluing it to the side. This is going to be the handle. This is what the gnome is going to hold. Alright, this is how it looks once I glued both of those popsicle sticks to the sides for the handlebars. 
All right, now I'm throwing some hot glue on the bottom of this, and then I'm gonna put some of that hay that I have left. Well, it's actually a hula skirt, but it looks like hay that I have left. I thought it would be cool if I threw a couple skull heads. So these are skulls that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And this Nomi is going to have it in his wheelbarrow. The other Nomis that I made, which you'll see at the end, also have these trick-or-treat baskets. So I wanted this one too as well. This is kind of the dad of my little gnome family. I don't know what I'm going to call him yet, but this is dad Nomi. Let me know what you guys think I should name this guy. And I could not wait to share this idea. I was so proud of this idea. This was my son's idea. We got this candy corn fabric from the Dollar Tree and he said it would be so cute if we placed it inside the trick or treat basket. And I loved this idea. I add a little more just to fluff it up and I loved how it came out. And what would Halloween and Nomi's be without pumpkins? So of course I had to throw in a couple of those. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also added these little mini hay bales from the Dollar Tree. Actually, I only might've added one of them, but these little mini hay bales are so cute. I had to scoop them up when I saw them. And then I finished this off with another pumpkin and one more skull. And I wanted to deck out my Nomi even more, so I added some cross bones onto his hat. This also helped me hide a couple spots where you could really see the hot glue badly, and it just kind of made it look more finished and less like it was all just hot glue together. I have one more part of this DIY that I wanted to share with you guys. When I saw this little wooden sign at the Dollar Tree, I had to scoop it up for my Nomi's because I knew it would be so cute poking out of one of the top of my house plants. So as you saw, I just wrote with my pencil, trick or treat, and now I just fill it in with some acrylic paint. So to give this more of a gory halloween -y vibe, I go ahead and put some water on the plate with my acrylic paint and bleed out some paint. Then I add this skeleton bone over the corner. And of course you need the spots of blood on the bone as well. So I go ahead and spot that up. Then I take one of these mini skeletons that I got off of, what are those things called? A garland, I think, the little stringy thing. I don't know, it's like a string of skeletons. And I didn't forget to dab up my skeleton with some red paint as well. So this is what all three of those things that I made today look. And then this is the final product of all the Nomi's that I've made all together. Look. Let me know what you guys think of this little Nomi trick-or-treating scene. Also, I'm struggling with names. I'm not sure what I should name them. So if you have any ideas on that, I would also love to hear it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. This is really just what I love to do. I'm not an expert. I just like to share these cute little things that I enjoy to do with you guys. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Now go live your best life.